Okay, so for everything I just said about the ClickFunnels ad, this is a thousand times worse. That <laughs> this actually probably could be truly the worst ad I've ever seen. What's up everybody, Alvaro here from Alvaro Bears Digital and can you believe it, we're already in June of 2022 and I have yet to make a reaction video so far this year. The last one I made actually was a couple months back, six, seven months back, I will link it down below. That one was a little different though. I rated both good ads and bad ads. This one, I wanna have a little bit more fun and I just wanna focus on some bad ads and tell you why they are bad ads. That way you can not only have a good time seeing my reaction, but you can also learn from it. That way you don't make the same mistakes either so without further ado let's go ahead and dive right in okay cool so here we are in my newsfeed and one trick that I do actually to kind of zero in on the bad ads as opposed to the good ads is that it's a lot easier to find bad ads the more you scroll down the page because what people always forget about Facebook ads is that it's an auction and the ads that win the auction are the ones that get pushed towards the top and typically the ones that are winning the auction are almost always just better ads now it's not a hundred percent true because actually if you watch my video from last time which again is linked down below um, you'll see that one of the first ads I saw in my newsfeed was not a good ad right so it's not always the case sometimes if you're a big advertiser if you're spending just tons and tons of money right you can kind of cheat your way up the newsfeed so to speak but in general the higher quality ads are at the top because they're winning out the auction and then the lower quality quality ads are further down the newsfeed as you keep on scrolling because they're losing the auction. So here I've already done the scrolling that way you don't have to watch me do anything boring and I have found my first bad ad. Now this is kind of ironic that it's a ClickFunnels ad because again from my last video I actually did an ad. It wasn't uh, ClickFunnels specifically but it was Russell Brunson who was the owner of ClickFunnels and I did not think that, that was a good ad and neither do I think that this is a good ad right here. So let me tell you why. A couple things. First and foremost if you've been watching my channel for any period of time you know how much I emphasize mobile. Mobile is going to be 80 to 85, maybe sometimes 90% of all the traffic. So anytime I'm putting an ad together, I only care about what it looks like in mobile. I don't care about the desktop view. And in mobile, you only get three lines. Those three lines, that's precious real estate. You want to maximize that real estate as much as possible. And you do that by providing maximum content. So here we have the desktop view of this ad. And even on just the desktop view, they're only taking up three lines right here and not providing a whole lot of context. So in the mobile view, you would see this, then there would be an empty line and then it would probably get cut off after the word made and it would be dot, 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 see more. So I'm guessing the mobile view, you would just see 30 days from now, you look back, it was the fateful decision you made dot, dot, dot. And then that's all you would see. And then obviously you would see, you'd see the image here ready to generate a thousand new leads in 30 days. 1k leads for free question mark. And so what is going on here is that it's not providing maximum context. It's just saying something about happening 30 days from now and the decision that you made. There's no pain points in there. There's no challenges in there. There's no uh, benefits in there. There's no unique mechanisms in there. There's no common bonds in there, right? None of those key elements that help provide context and get people really interested and intrigued in reading in your ads. That's all missing from here. And like I said many times before, right? The goal for your ad is step number one is to get people to click on see more, right? We always like to think of the end in mind, the conversion, all that kind of stuff. But step number one is that they got to click see more because if they're not clicking see more, then they're not going to read your ad and they're not going to convert but let's go ahead and click see more here let's see if it gets any better at all so along the journey you made a few friends as part of you you learned from the people you were coached you were challenged you dug deep you smiled you laughed okay this is <laughs> this is really bad this is just like very i don't even know how to phrase it but just like very like vague and very woo, -woo. and i'm not saying woo woo is bad but when you're trying to get people to take a very specific action. You can't have the whole ad be woo woo, quote unquote woo woo, right? You can throw some of that in there, but the whole code, the whole, that's what the whole thing is. It's like you dug deep, you smiled, you laughed, you fought, ah, right? All this kind of stuff. Um, it's just going on way, way too long for that. And I think they're trying to do this whole exercise where they're trying to get you to visualize what it, it will be like in 30 days. But again, it's a very vague picture um, and they're not being very specific on the other end in terms of what the result is. Yes, the result is a thousand leads, but guess what? 
If you can't take leads to the bank, you're not going to get any type of credits, lead credits, uh, then you could deposit into your bank account. So cool. You have a thousand leads, but then what? Right? So it's still not strong enough for me. Like what, what's the purpose of these 1000 leads? What's going to happen after I get a thousand leads, et cetera, et cetera. So overall top to the bottom, I think it's a very poorly uh, put together ad, bad ad copy. It's bad in mobile. Um, this graphic right here is just very busy. There's way too much going on in it. And I think this headline is too short as well. So truly there's actually nothing that I like about this ad. Now someone's going to argue, oh, Hey, wait, but there's, you know, 787 likes and 35 comments and 19 shares. So clearly it's doing a good job, but you have to remember ClickFunnels is a multi-million dollar company that many, many people are aware of. And what they do isn't necessarily what's going to work for you, the small business owner, right? Um, as a matter of fact, I would say usually not. When you just have the brand value and brand awareness that ClickFunnels has, you can get away with a lot more. So don't look at big companies like them and say, oh, I'm going to copy exactly what they're doing because in all probability, it's not going to work for a small business. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and keep on scrolling down. Okay, so here's our next ad, Alliance of M&A Advisors. M&A Middle Market Servers, join the fastest growing resource provider today. And then AMAA, Alliance of Merger and Acquisition Advisors, Mergers and Acquisitions, Events, News and Resources, News, Events, Memberships, and more. <laughs> Okay, so for everything I just said about the ClickFunnels ad, this is a thousand times worse. <laughs> this actually probably could be truly the worst ad I've ever seen in my life. And that's not an exaggeration in any way, shape or form. I'm sorry for Alliance of M&A advisors if anyone from there is watching this, but you know, hopefully, you know, you'll get some, some valuable feedback. So, okay, what is going on with this? So same issue with the ClickFunnels ad from before, right? There's no maximum context right here. It's literally just one line. So on mobile, well, yes, you are going to see this one line, but it's not going to occupy all the spaces. And then it just says M and a middle market services join the fastest growing resource provider today. So I knew what they were saying by M and a middle market service providers, but I don't think everyone would M and a mergers and acquisitions. Like I was able to make the connection pretty quickly, but I really doubt the vast majority of people would be able to make that connection that quickly. And then right. They just have a call to action. So basically they're just saying like what they do and then a call to action to join them. A couple of issues wrong there. I have no incentive to join them. They're not telling me what, you know, why I need them. That doesn't tell me what problem they're solving. And they're not saying what benefit I get out of quote unquote joining. And then also by joining, I actually don't know what they mean. Are they, is this a job ad and they want me to work for them or they actually want me to use them if I want to merge and acquire another company myself. And I, they're kind of like a broker. I have no idea what they actually mean by joining them today. So not only is it a poorly placed call to action, it's just a very vague call to action. And then here merges and acquisitions, events, news and resources. <laughs> It just seems like a bunch of random words string, strung together with no purpose behind them. Um, you know, they might as well just throw in some colors, merges, acquisitions, blue, yellow, orange, news, and resources, right? It's just, there's no meaning there, right? And then they have this terrible, terrible stock photo of just a bunch of, you know, quote unquote business people staring off in the distance. And yeah, it's just, it's just bad. And then lastly, the headline news events, memberships, and more news about what events about what memberships about what more about what i just have no idea what this ad is about from top to bottom at least the other ad we knew that it was about marketing and getting leads right we knew that much here i have no idea what the goal of this ad is what this company is what they stand for what this even the purpose of this ad is what they're trying to get me to do truly truly um an awful ad and probably the worst i've ever seen in my life so um there you have it. But they do have two comments, so they're getting some engagement. All right, let's go on and find one more. Hey, and before we move on to the next ad, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. It lets me know if you enjoy this type of content. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any of the valuable content I put out on this channel. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, cool. So here we have an ad from the farmer's dog convenient because I do own a dog. So Facebook knows that obviously, even though I have nothing about my dog being mentioned in my Facebook profile, right? Facebook just knows everything, especially because these little devices are listening to every word that you say. So that's why I'm getting hit with this ad. So the farmer's dog, dog food should uh, be food, not burnt brown balls. 
Switch to a smarter, healthier pet food today and get 50% off your first box. And then they have this uh, image of this cute little dog with his next to his uh, the farmer's dog food box and then the headline of sign up uh, for 50% off your order. So this ad is probably better than the other two. Still not great, but um, out is for sure it's better than the mergers and acquisitions one. And I actually would even say it's better than the click funnels one, even though the context is a lot less. So it is still suffering from the same problem as always, right? These ads as you know, further down the news feed, they're, they're just these ads that aren't providing any context. They're, you know, not tapping into the emotions of people um, and stuff like that. And so just, you know, really poorly constructed copy, but you know, there are some things that this ad is doing well. So the whole concept of the dog food should be food, not burnt down brown balls. Uh, I actually personally love that concept, right? Because like I said, I, I am a dog owner and I don't know, the idea of kibbles have always been weird to me because I'm like, you know, dogs at the end of the day, I've never seen a dog like truly love kibbles, but it's what everyone buys. So I'm always having to add things to the kibble to actually get my dog to eat it. And so it almost always feels like I'm forced feeding my dog something that actually doesn't want uh, by trying to add stuff to it. And so, you know, and then also you think about the fact that, you know, dogs at the end of the day, you know, while, while obviously very, very detached from this, you know, they are still the sentence of wolves. I think their DNA is like 98% the same as wolves. You know, would wolves eat some kibbles? You know, I don't think so. And plus at the end of the day, I'm very cognizant of the health of my dog. I actually adopted my dog when she was seven years old. So she was significantly older. I'm not going to have her for as long. So I'm very conscientious about her health. I want her, her to be as happy and healthy. That way she can live as long as possible and we can enjoy as much time together together as possible. So, you know, my pet's health um, is ultra, ultra important to me. So they're tapping into actually two good things right there, uh, right? The fact that, you know, probably uh, a lot of people just like me, the whole notion of kibbles is just kind of off-putting and then just, you know, desire to have a dog uh, to be very uh, healthy and happy. So while the amount of copy here is very short for what little copy they're providing, I would say they're doing a great job of tapping into a problem and a benefit, right? The problem is kibble. And then the benefit here is switching to something else that's going to make your dog happier and healthier. And you get a 50% off discount, which is great. Who doesn't love discounts? I think the image is actually really good. I did not like the images of the other two, but for this type of brand, a picture of a cute dog right next to the actual box that you get. So you actually get to visualize the product and see what you'll be getting in return. I think it's fantastic. And then just another, um, you know, call to action here of sign up now for 50% off your order. Now, again, you know, so, some of you watching this might be like, Hey, but wait a minute, you know, they have 847 likes and 147 comms and 39 shares. So clearly this is a fantastic ad. And what I'll tell you actually is that any ad that has a cute dog in it is always going to get engagement. I know that for a fact, cause one of my clients is in the pet space. Um, it doesn't matter <laughs> what I say in the ad copy uh, or in like that, as long as there's a cute dog in there, you're going to get engagement. So it's a little bit of a misleading result here in terms of the amount of engagement they're getting. So again, don't let that fool you. Just like the click funnels one, they're a very big company, but in this case, it's not so much the company. I've actually never heard of a farmer's dog, but like I said, I know from experience, anytime you put cute dogs uh, in an ad, you're going to get uh, high engagement. All right, and there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I always have a good time doing these. I really should do them more frequently, and I'll try to do so more so in the future. But if you have any questions or comments about the ads that we saw, or you want any clarification on the feedback I gave, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below. This is actually one of my favorite exercises is helping people create optimized ads for improved results. Here's two more videos for you to check out. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.